I really enjoy talking and hanging out with Jason because he's a guy that balances a lot of things at a very high level. He's a TPI certifier, travels over doing that. He has an amazing podcast and membership site online. He runs an academy, which we're going to right now. And um, he does them all at a really high level and is really consistent with them all. So it, it's always cool to talk about how he balances that and how he's running his businesses and, and managing everything. Do you do, uh, could you say like three things? You have, have the like the membership and the podcast, you have the lab, you have, you're speaking all the time at TPI. And tour else? pros. And tour pros. So and you have ath professional person. athletes in other sports outside okay. of golf. So yeah, that's that's four four major major projects. How do you do four things really well? Uh, I think the key is compartmentalizing. I think when you're doing one thing, you have to be 100% into it. Um, and then once you finish a project, or you've at least decided that that project's over and you're moving into the next one, there has to be a, like a complete cut. And I learned that early on in my career was being able to walk into a room and know a job's got to get done. So if you're in a bad mood and you have a paying client in front of you, mm -hmm. you got to execute. And so it, it was allowing me to take whatever was going on in your personal life and you put that aside for that hour and focus on that athlete, focus on that person, focus on that project. And then once you're finished that and you walk out that door, now you can be wherever you need to be. Yeah. And what it, what's really cool about this facility is that we have the ability of like, you actually open the door and you transition to a different room. Yeah. You know, you go from a golf room to a fitness room. Well, that's what I do in my job. I go from being, uh, let's say, uh, if I'm working with a tour pro, when I'm on that flight home, I'm gonna complete all the work and reports that I need to do with that, for that player. So when I get off that plane, I'm, I'm with my family, I'm 100% present. So you like a master scheduler of like, every Monday I'm doing this? No, no, I, no in fact, uh, I need to be better at that, but I would say like, for instance, today, I recorded my podcast. Okay. Um, I also did some business stuff for the tour performance lab here. Um, and then I also had to set up some stuff for TPI for future events that we're doing. And I also booked a, a event in Ireland. So I had to write up a whole, like what would the workshop be? I have my mentorship coming up. So I had to respond to some emails on scheduling that and getting, making sure that all the swag that I want to give them is set up. So that's a lot to do in a day. Yeah. But the point is all those things got done, but they got done in their own time. Like it, I wasn't ever doing three of them at the same time. Right. I would stop. And when I do the podcast, I'm 100% into the podcast. Same thing with my exercise. I also had to go run in the hills today, you know, and, and for me. Okay. Uh, and I use this analogy of like the, the mask, the oxygen mask when you're on a plane. You gotta fuel yourself first, right? Yeah. So when I'm doing that, that's the only time that I'm multitasking. I'm, I'm running through the hills and I'm going through my mind. What do I need to accomplish today? What's my checklist? How am I gonna frame this in the podcast today or how am I gonna frame this topic? Um, and then when I get back, I have clarity and then I'm able to just now execute. How do you, so I'm really bad at this. Like I. How, how do you um, focus on one thing when you're doing that one thing? When you're sitting down and you're doing this, how do you how do you do that? I don't know. I've, I've been doing it for so long. I, I'm literally the worst multitasker ever. Yeah. So knowing that, and I have friends like like Lance Gill. When we're doing a presentation for TPI, let's say, mm -hmm. he'll say, "Can you do this? Like just just on the computer, just track this and mark the thing." He'll come over and talk to me while I'm doing my talk. And he just to frazzle me because he knows I can't do two things at once. So it, I guess it's out of necessity okay. that I've been able to compartmentalize my day and go, I'm going to be 100% focused here and then cut. Now I'm going to do this job, cut. Huh. I, well, it's a good thing to have to do. Well, for instance, it's helpful. For instance, here's an example. Today, I recorded the podcast. It's, it has to be up tomorrow. Normally, it's done a week ahead or two weeks ahead. And I didn't have time because I had to meet this Cordy Walker kid. Yeah, he was just gonna you know, come to the yeah. lab, and I had to meet him at two. I had to uh, kind of cut that project off. I wanted to complete it today, yeah. so now I know. Okay, I'm at the lab. Now I'm with you. In an hour, we're gonna be with the athletes. And as soon as I'm with the athletes, you're gonna see it's gonna be a different coach. Yeah. And then as soon as I get home, 
I now have to just make the cover for the podcast and then upload it and deliver it. Yeah. So those are all those things still get done in a day, even though they're not like a hundred percent complete. Hundred percent complete. Sometimes there's chops in the middle. I just have to keep going because I personally want to know this. So when you have projects like this, right? Like you're in the day to day of the projects, right? You're getting yep. the work done, but you also kind of have to be like, I want to build and grow this, and maybe there's something better with this that I should be thinking strategically, right? Yes. Like, so thinking strategically for like four projects is not easy, right? Because no. you're like balancing all these things. Like maybe we could get here, big picture, we could do this. Yes. So what do you do? Do you like every? Do you sit down every year? Do you sit down every ninety days, every week, and like? Yeah, I I have a checklist that I look at every day, and that checklist is not not normally uh, long term plans. It's usually short term. Like these are these are tasks yeah. that have to be completed. But then I also have a notebook where I write my goals, my yeah. dream bigs, you know, and that's kind of like where I want to go with my goals. But really, when I say you know when I'm exercising. During that time, that's kind of like my big picture time, mm -hmm. and that's where I'm like, I run in the hills. Mm. It's it's only 15 minutes, but mm. it's in the forest. Like, I mean, you've seen yeah. this yeah, setting. Yeah, yeah, nice. I'm running through the through the forest, and I do it every day. It's like meditation for me. And if I can't get in the forest, then I meditate for 20 minutes. Okay. And during that time, you're not supposed to be thinking of anything. I am. I'm picturing the big, big the big picture, um, the big goals, and so that that kind of makes everything else just seem simple. But those big tasks, I tell you what. I'm constantly pushing forward, but know that this needs to get done. Like the, the groundwork has to be completed. Otherwise that, that dream goal that's there yeah. is never going to get completed. So you're taking time to think. I've heard that before. Oh, big time. But you got to take time to think and um, well, that's not easy to do. You have to be either exercising or doing something to almost get mindless. Right? Yes. And then. So here's, here's the thing. I would say every morning when I wake up, I have some time to myself before I even look at the phone to go, oh my God, retweet, retweet. Oh, I like that picture or like yeah. anything like that. I have to have a moment to go, okay, the day's about to start, what's it gonna look like? Mm. But my nighttime, right when I go to bed is when I have that dream big. Yeah. Uh, it's that quiet time when I'm laying there before I fall asleep. It's my dream big time. It's where I'm thinking about the big picture. Now in the middle of the day, I need those breaks, uh, fitness, meditation, and for me, cooking is the time that I'm 100% not thinking about any of this stuff. Yeah. I love to cook. Okay. I love the, there's something repetitive about the chopping that, and now I started drumming, just like practicing drumming. Mm. Again, it's just this, this time that I can't, that I can't multitask and it gives my brain that break. Yeah. 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 Perfect. That's how you juggle four things. Yeah, but sometimes I'll go like, I need a break right now. Yeah. So what is that break going to be? It's going to be, yeah, I'm going to cook or I'm going to, um, you know, I'm, I'm not big on adding distractions as far as uh, like watching silly videos or any of that kind of stuff. I, to me, that leaves me kind of like yeah. a little stressed out. Yeah. So um, actually sometimes I'll go on Periscope yeah. and just like today I did a silly thing. We made, I made poached eggs okay. and some grass fed butter the coffee over there. there uh, so we did go. that on Periscope. To me, that was relaxing. Yeah. And it, it was just it was just me hanging out with my friends on Periscope. It was fun. It took me out of my rhythm and it helped me relax. There you go. That's a good answer. Yeah, some, some of you might think that's like work. Yeah. But for me, it was just, it, yeah, it's just a fun break. Yeah.